privilege calling. Oh god. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. <coughs> well good, okay, let's start the part two of Doki Doki Literature Club. Sorry for the bad quality on the first part. I'd like to just do a quick apology to M for that. I had all my settings on default so the the recording quality was a bit choppy at the words, um just close the door, but like the words were a bit choppy, like there's the great parts. That's sorted. I'd done a lot of testing, it took like two hours and then one hour. Just to test my bad quality. Now as you can hear me perfect because like this is I'm like I was talking at the bottom of the black hole. But we're all good now, so you'll be able to hear me with music playing. And let's just get into it. Bum, 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 I had to like open in my keep on opening my files to check. But yes, this me from where we are. <coughs> this is a napping club. Does our school have a napping club? We'll stay and go play it again, aren't you? Now that now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. <coughs> I glance over my shoulder to see if Marika overheard. It's true. So, yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. Uh, that's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still able to sleep in every day, aren't you? Yeah. No, not every day. That's not very convincing. <coughs> How many days this past week have you got on upon time? That's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Yeah. Sari glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You're clear, c clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. <coughs> I run my fingertips down the side of Sari's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you, re you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. It's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I tried to rub off the stain with my finger. But, but no one would, nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Unfortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer, blazer button up. Seriously, Sayori? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to burn a blazer from the bottom. Would you see how much better it looks? You'll change your mind. <coughs> oh god, that's all. All for me. Awkward. Realistic. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is so funny. What is. Well, I was just figuring how weird it has a friend who does these kind of things. D don't say that. You make me feel weird about it. Stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy with like this. Aren't you? Ah. I guess. One sec. Nico, stop it. You pick you up. Get away from the door. Go on. Stay in there if you went. Stop banging on the door. Okay. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near my chest. Does this thing ever fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. 
if you ever bought since it, you would just as soon as that it doesn't fit you anymore. I don't know what's loading, but you know. What are you smiling about? It means my... It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you look much better now, so... Why does it feel so strange, strange to see Sarah's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sarah ha has to be unbuttoned her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Yuri. Oh, sorry, not Yuri. So Yuri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if we keep it unbuttoned, then I will get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why don't you say that like it's a good thing? Cause if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And he'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on the. I'm trying to wake up a little earlier. And only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we're really better taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. So maybe you should come and wake me up this morning. You, you, you're doing it again, Sayori. But I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to, te to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Yeah. Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems that we wrote now? Yay. I'm a cow I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound off a stick, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Did yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica offistically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica right, has on a composition notebook. I'm going to see Monica's Kristen handwriting from where I sit. That's he and Yuri re reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I share my poem too fast? Who should we? Do say you're in last class as well is basically how I'd start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read the poem and I wanted her to know that I'm putting in effort. Hi Marco, having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, have you ever had any suggestions for the club like new activities or things we can do better? I always listen. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better after just going to the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share a poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Marco. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's all that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. <laughs> I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if we had those sorts of things in common. Ah, well, we might be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case. But um, maybe there are also some similarities that you would expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other, other's well-being. Even if you share it in, in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading the poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a kind of gentle feel, it, feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, totally unexpected. Well, to each other their own. 
and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this, but that's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit, little bit biased towards their own kind of styles, but it'll always help you find what suits you the most, so don't force yourself to write the way anyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Hold on, my eyes are going freaky, like this part's smaller than this part's like just growing like these words. Hold on. It's probably because like the words are moving so fast. I thought they just did a quick little break. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyways, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound perfectly com. You seem. You sound pretty confident for the one who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that the path will protrudes. A noisy neighbour? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No. I can't see. I reel, blind, like I'm a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My, my retinas. My scorched with already scorched with permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into where I think. A hole of infinite choices. I realise now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. So, what did you think? Hmm. It's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really a right, right person to ask for feedback. Uh -huh. It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style is going pretty popular nowadays. That's a lot. That's it. That is. A lot of poems have been put an emphasis on the timing be between words and lines. Well, before that loud, it can be really powerful. But that, what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Uh, epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk to people that do stuff like that. Because it's kind of come and gone strongly. Maybe after everyone's better with friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated, fix, fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep penning in the same spot for too long, you'll just go a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That is true. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to next? Hmm. I did say we didn't say the last, so let's... That's cute. Hmm. Well, it's about what I expected from some someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, like, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't look like any emotions, so basically it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like her. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fl fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convicted that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't take my, write my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. 
I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the word play. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it all made it flat on the purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into I guess more went into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, do you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to heat Hummer with her that last moment. Don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then it won't take that away from her. Victory. Yuri says the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, s- sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um, it's fine. Don't force yourself, force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess I might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. I might take, I might take a while f- for Yuri to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and I haven't been through that myself. I kind of, I kind of learned up to pick up on them. I think it's the most notable thing I recognise in the new writers that they try to make their style very deliberate. In the other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic, no ma- matter. They fall fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once you find this train of thought, it's as if her domino totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work as together is probably the most challenging part. It might take some time, but it all comes to practice and learning by example and trying new things. I hope everyone is resting. I hope everyone in the club gives you valuable feedback. That kid can be a little bit based, you know. Based? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. S- sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologising to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. Oh god, I can't really understand this. If you do, I'm just gonna do a... I'm just gonna take a few seconds. I can't understand this type of writing. Like, it's just confusing. It looks like dots for me. Just gonna give you some time to read it. Sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting was pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. You know it's short, it was really descriptive. I, it wasn't too short. I used to write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild, something 